this is the flight round uh, the southeast edge of London uh, during uh, a summer storm in July 2024 um, in the Robin DR401 model by Aerobasque. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. R401 and it's a free model built by Aerobasque and very nice it is too. I first discovered it in x 11 it's recently been reissued for x 12 and it's just as delightful as it ever was. don't like it quite as much as the RV but um, it's really it is a really nice model and given that it's free it's worth a go. I have to say that I think if this had been the real world I would have given up and gone for a coffee at this point because the weather is just awful. Um, but what's the point of having real weather simulated and explained if you can't give it a go from time to time? So this is a flight from Earls Cole down to Shoreham skirting to the east of London uh, through one of the first storms of the 2024 summer season in the UK. Isn't that Robin, a beautiful aeroplane. Wonderfully stable. Just a lovely looking plane, I think. I uh, flew this flight on Vatsim, so you will pick up the occasional um, chatter from uh, other aircraft, as we, particularly as we approach Gatwick. Uh, You can see I do really struggle controlling the aeroplane when I'm not actually sat behind the controls in the view. So the weather just gets worse and then there's a little break and then there's a massive thunderstorm. And as you get down to the south coast, um, it improves markedly. And I recall this storm in the real world, and the x simulation tracks it pretty accurately. That's the A12 down there. I do love the light effects of x on a ropey day. So we approach Chelmsford, which is the first turning point. Next stop, the QE2 bridge.
I'm really not very good at flying the aeroplane facing backwards, I'll be honest. As we approach the Thames, the weather improves. So north of the Thames is low, miserable cloud. South of the Thames, as you'll see, is this massive thunderstorm. And now we can just about begin to see um, the towers of the QE2 bridge. So we follow the M25 down to cross the Thames. firmly east of the Gatwick control zone at all times. It really is a, a fabulous model of the QE2 bridge. And uh, go with traffic, hello, speedbird 28 kilo, taxi in, runway 26 left, four lambs departure. See the storm brewing south of the river as we fly towards it. Easy G6, uh, Romeo Bravo on the localizer, runway 26 left, uh, getting traffic.
As we press on towards the south coast, the weather improves again. Uh, the wind is coming from the northeast, uh, so I opt to land on 3 1, which is the short glass runway at Shoreham. Uh, just in the distance, you can see uh, the tower of the Shoreham Power Station, and that's more or less right base for 3 1. So we'll aim to turn over there and start our descent into Shoreham. Uh, Shoreham traffic, Gulf Whiskey Yankee might be part, it's 5 miles to the northeast. We'll be joining right base for a full stop landing on 3 1 Shoreham. Speed 146 heavy, UPS Gulfwisky Yankee might be part of files to land 3 1, sure. Those weird markings you can see on the grass by the runway, it turns out, are an aerial photograph of what I think is the pilot's enclosure for the Shoreham Air Show. This is a particular feature of the Orbic scenery, uh, which you don't get with author photos. And I'm in the process of working on a revised version of the, uh, the Shoreham Airfield scenery pack to sort out the problem.
This is very much a work in progress, but as you can see, uh, the ortho photos that I've loaded have uh, covered over the uh, the outline of the uh, pilot's enclosure at Shoreham in the Orbic scenery. Uh, this is the very fine uh, model of the Art Deco terminal building by Richard C. Elliott, and that is published on the Kicks VFR website. I will leave a link to that in the description. Thank you for watching. Uh, the link to the Robin model that I used and the Orbic scenery is in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.